So today I'm going to show you how to replace your wax ring on your toilet. Um, mine happens to be leaking. I'll show you that, and I'll show you how to remove the waxless ring or the wax ring, and then how to install the waxless ring. And I'll put a link down in the description where you can get these. And I'll also talk about the spacer. And this is the spacer. I will not be using it uh, due to the fact that my toilet flange is about a sixteenth inch above the floor and that would make the toilet sit too high. But hang tight and we'll get started. So I'm going to flush the toilet and if you watch both of those grout lines after I flush you'll see water starting to come out there. It's already started on the right. See it there and over on the left. It's actually coming out underneath the uh, grout or underneath the caulking on top of the grout line. So the first thing we'll do is we'll shut off the water. And this is a quarter turn valve. Those are really cool. The ones that you have to crank just don't seem to seat. Then you flush your toilet and get all the water out of the tank. You just hold it down until the water drains out. So you got your tank drained. You can see that it's all out. And then the next thing, after you've drained your tank, um, you may want to clean out the bowl too. Uh, I didn't, so I ended up with water on the floor. But the next thing you're going to do is, this is usually a hand tighten fitting here, compression fitting. You just unscrew that. And I have a little container there to catch the water. Uh, sometimes you'll get a little, little out of here as well as out of that line. So I tip it into there to get it into that container so that it doesn't run all over the floor and then after you get the that done then you're gonna loosen up on these 7 16 nuts that hold the um, flange bolts down and it should they shouldn't be extremely tight because you don't want to crank on them too tight or you'll actually crack that porcelain uh, on the flange so we take that out and you can use a crescent wrench, a socket, or a uh, um, box end, open end, doesn't matter. They're typically 7 16 nuts, but you just want to unscrew those and then you take off the. Uh, there's a washer usually on top of the cap retainer and then the cap retainer, and then there's usually another washer underneath that. Now, what I'm doing is I'm actually cutting the caulking and if you do caulk your toilet, you want to leave the back open. So if you have a leak, it leaks out and you can see it. You don't want to trap it under there. And uh, it's kind of, some people say put caulking. Some people say don't put caulking. So I had put caulking on there, but I left the back open. But it ended up coming out underneath the caulking on top of the grout lines anyway. So I'm just going to cut it off and I'm cutting along the floor. And then I'm also cutting along the tank. Uh, flange there. I'm going to get that caulking out of there and, and when I put it back I won't put it on there. And then you just lift it off and now that's your your wax ring. In Karate Kid Mr. Miyagi said wax on wax off but we're going to take the wax off and then we're going to put waxless on. Anyway kind of like the same only different but uh yeah, that's uh, you want to scrape all that wax off there, get a nice clean surface for that, that new waxless uh, seal to go on. So you scrape that off with a putty knife, get rid of that wax, and then there's still a flange in there, you pop that out of there, you get rid of that, that flange is part of the wax ring. So in the instructions, if the toilet flange uh, ring is below the floor line, uh, you're supposed to use a spacer, or if it's even level, they say use the spacer. Well, mine is about a sixteenth of an inch above, so I will not use the spacer, or my toilet will sit up too high, and I don't want that. If it's up uh, above it, you don't use a spacer. So anyway, I'm just going to put the, the waxless flange on there and set it down on top. The It lines right up because those... Uh, flange bolts stick right up through the holes on there. You just set it down on there and that kind of guides you right into the center of that flange. And then I'm just going to pick the toilet up. But because I didn't empty my tank or my, yeah, my toilet bowl, I did have a little bit of leakage out there. So I'm wiping that water up. And then we just pick it up and you watch the bolts come right up through those holes 
on the flanges. Just line them up and set it right down over the top of that, and that'll go right into that. Now, you see this tile floor is a little bit uh, unlevel, so see how it wobbles? Um, and because it wobbles, I'm going to take these little pieces of nylon, or they're little pieces of nylon I had, and I'm just going to space it so that it doesn't have a hard surface up against the flange, and yet it won't rot or anything. Uh, you can use plastic or um, nylon, Teflon, whatever, just a little spacer under there to level it. And then after that, then you put that, there's a, a big a flange washer, and then there's the the cap retainer, and then another washer, and then you put the nut on. And then after you tighten the nuts, then you'll put the caps on. So I'm doing that on both sides here. Now there is new flange bolts and washers that come with the uh, uh, waxless ring. Uh, I did not use those because my flange bolts were in good shape. Uh, I did replace the uh, top washer in the uh, nut just just because they were there. And checking it, got them snugged up there. Put the caps back on. After you get the caps back on, then you're going to uh, reach back up underneath there and uh, connect your water line on and then turn your valve back on. And then I'm testing it now. I'm flushing it again and just checking to make sure there's no water leaking, which there we are. And I'll put a link in the description where you can get the waxless uh, toilet ring. These are reusable, so you can use them over well, and over. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope that was some good information for you, and these waxless rings uh, can be used over and over. Again, I'll put the link down in the description where you can get those. And I'll also put a link in there where you can get that quarter turn uh, shutoff valve. Those are really good. The other kind, you have to turn and turn, and a lot of times they don't seat good, and you have to crank them with pliers and uncrank them, and they leak. These quarter turn uh, valves are uh, really the way to go. So the waxless ring being reusable and the quarter turn valves make it so easy to work on the toilet. Again, thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you'll do that, then click the bell icon. Every time I come out with a new video, then you'll be notified. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.